الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد The question is asking here If you are praying behind the imam Or just generally in salat The final tashahud What is the ruling on that? Now There is khilaf between the ulama There is a difference of opinion between the madahib The companions They asked the messenger of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam كيف نسلم عليك How can we send peace and blessings upon you Rasulullah So he said قولوا اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك انت لي اند سي قولوا نا هيز ذا ايشو وات دوز ذا قولوا ريفير تو هي صلى الله عليه وسلم از انستركتينغ اند سينك سي نا دوز ذا سي نيسيسيرلي نيسيسيتي ان اوبليجيشن او از ات ان اكت اوف سنه ذا حنفيز اند ذا مالكي سي سنه ديفور اف ا بيرسون از Praying by himself or behind the Imam, uh, if they miss the final tashahud, the salah will still be sahih because he has missed something which is sunnah. The Hanbalis and the Shafi'is, and this is the view of many from the salaf, including Umar and his son Ibn Umar, and others from the companions, Hassan al Basri and others, have said that it is a rukun and it is a pillar of the salat, the final tashahud, meaning sitting for the final tashahud and what you say in it. And It is with that understanding of that narration that we've just quoted, but there is also another version that Ibn Mas'ud, he said before Salat, he said, Before we used to know what to say in the end of the Salat, we used to say, As-salam ala Allah, As-salam ala Allah, As-salam ala Jibreel, As-salam ala Mikhail. When the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi heard them saying, Salam to Allah, how can you give Salam to Allah? When Allah is a salam. Now the point of uh, evidence here, Ibn Mas'ud said, كُنَّا نَكُوا فِي الصَّلَاةِ قَبْلَ أَنْ يُفْرَدْ التَّشَهُدْ Before it was made obligatory, hence it becomes a pillar of the salah, for us to sit for the final tashahud and to say what we are going to say in the final tashahud. Uh, before we move on, I mean, uh, it, it can be a little bit confusing in certain books of fiqh. For example, in the Shafi'i madhab, I mean, if a person goes through Sharh uh, al-Sunnah, uh, sorry, Shandra uh, Sahih Muslim of uh, an uh, you will find that the language that the Shafi'is use, uh, sometimes they refer to Sunnah as wajib and wajib as Sunnah or wajib when they refer to it to being a pillar. Uh, or rukan when it's supposed to be something that they're referring to, which is wajib. Therefore, sometimes when a person is reading the books of fiqh, this is just a side benefit, uh, they could use the word sunnah, but they mean wajib, when it comes to the sifa salah, when it comes to the description of the salah. But here, these are the two opinions. Some of them have said it is sunnah, and some of them said that it is a pillar of the salah. And if it's a pillar of the salah, then a the person must do it. Now, this is not really an issue, If a person is praying by himself, I don't think it's conceivable that a person is just going to leave the final tashahud. Everyone does it, even if you feel it to be sunnah and this the view that you follow, people will do it anyway. So there's no issue with that. The issue is when you're praying behind the imam. Now, if you are praying behind the imam and you are a late comer, again, there's no issue. Because your final tashahud is going to come because you've still got some rakat that you need to make qadha of. Not an issue. The issue is, if you are praying behind the imam, and the imam, either for some reason the imam is going really quick and you didn't get to finish your tashahud, final tashahud, or <clears throat> the imam was going at a normal pace, but you were behind, or you know you got delayed for some reason, whatever it might be, you know, so you started again the final tashahud. The imam finishes the salat, but you've not finished your final tashahud. What do you do in that scenario? Now those two madhabs that have said that it is a pillar, they have said, just like any other pillar, even if you're praying behind the imam, you must do it. And this seems to be the correct view. Uh, Shaykh Ibn Aziz bin Baz, rahimahullah, he was asked, if the imam has finished and you haven't finished your final tashahud, what do you do in that scenario? He said, you finish it. You don't finish with the imam. You finish your final tashahud and then you make the taslim. This is because it is a rukun of the salat. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us beneficial knowledge and righteous actions and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in